What's up guys? Welcome to another video of Fit Man Style and as you can see this video has more of a vlogging feel to it. I uh, decided to take the camera outside of the house and come here to the Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Mass. I actually live here, not, not, not too far from here and a lot of people think of Massachusetts and only think of Boston. There's Springfield too and this is one of our main attractions. So in this video I'm going to talk about a company called Colchester Rubber Company. That's the company that created the first basketball sneaker, which is what I'm wearing right now. Yeah, so these are kind of dope. So, I'm going to just briefly talk about the, the shoe because there's a story that goes behind the shoe. And, of course, this is not a basketball hall of fame, so I figure why not do a video here and tell you guys about the shoe and about the company as well. So, let's go inside. Outside in the entrance of the Hall of Fame, right behind me, is a statue of Dr. James Naismith, who is the guy who created the sport of basketball right here in Springfield, Mass. So I'm gonna just go in, and as you can see, there's like a restaurant here, restaurants there, and I believe there's a restaurant inside as well. So I'm gonna just take y'all in and. Uh, get some footage of what it looks like inside the Basketball Hall of Fame while I tell you the story of the Colchester shoes. Are you listening? Damn. Robin Roberts. Welcome to the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Established in 1959, okay, it's the world's premier basketball all. museum. First up, the honors ring for the game's greatest players, coaches, referees, and contributors are enshrined. Join us for a walk through basketball history you'll never forget. Okay, here we go.
All right, so these shoes were made in honor of um, the first African-American professional player, which holds near and dear to my heart. It's a guy by the name of um, Harry Lou. We can go on. <laughs> um, the gentleman by the name of Harry Lou was the first African-American basketball player. And he was born here in Massachusetts, in Lowell, Mass. And um, Harry Lou had his first um, professional debut on November 2nd, 1902, at the Fort Tuckettville Athletic Club in Lowell, Mass. And um, as you can imagine, 1902, you know, the racial tension back then was, was, was really thick. The, the coach actually didn't want to put him in because he was black. Even if, you know, the if there were players on that team that were hurt, the coach still, still didn't, didn't want to put him in. But the crowd sort of demanded that, they, that, it, that he put him in. And eventually he got in. So he played for the... Pawtucketville Athletic Club for about uh, about three years, and then he he started um, Barnstorming, which is what pretty much what the, the Harlem Globe Trotters are doing. That they, they they just travel around the, the country and do exhibition games. So, the reason why I love this shoe and why I appreciate the Colchester Rubber Company for creating these shoes is that. They made it in honor of Harry Lou, and what's so crazy about that is, even though he's the first African American um, professional basketball player, he's not here in the Hall of Fame. But all these people, like all these people, rightfully so, deserve to be here. But you would think, right, the first African American basketball player is not here. So there is a an, a, a push, an effort by that. Co Colchester um, Company and whatever this video can, can, can do to bring more awareness to the fact that Harry Lou does deserve to be here. I mean, when you think of guys like Michael Jordan and um, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, I mean, these guys, you know, making millions of dollars, multi-million dollar contracts, multi-million dollar endorsement deals, and, you know, we give the shout outs to the, to the Giants who paved the way for them, like, you know, the Magic Johnsons and the Will Chamberlain. But then we ignore the people who paved the way for those giants like like the magic. So Harry Lou was one of those people that literally paved the way for there to even be a Magic Johnson or a Will Chamberlain. Even now uh Le 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 LeBron James. So um, the fact that he's not here is ridiculous to me. And um, I really hope they do induct him into the Basketball Hall of Fame. I really love how, you know, the Basketball Hall of Fame is not just about the players. It's about everyone who makes the, the game, you know, basketball. So the coaches, the the sports analysts on TV, the journalists, like everyone's in here. So I just, that's one thing I really love about this place, man. So it's more than just the players. It's everyone who contributes to the game of basketball, whether it's here in America or internationally as well.
So Colchester Rubber Company was created in 1893, two years after basketball was created here in Springfield in 1891. Now they were founded in Colchester, Connecticut, which I find to be very interesting. Things in this video tend to be in proximity of me from the Basketball Hall of Fame being here in, in, in Springfield to Springfield literally being on the border of Massachusetts and Connecticut. So that's pretty cool. So shortly after this company was, was um, created, they went out of business and it seemed like these shoes would have been lost forever. Up until 2015, when some good folks found these shoes at an estate sale. So they decided to rediscover the shoe and keep the original design of the shoe while dedicating it to basketball players that you may have never heard of, like Harry Lou. I know for sure I hadn't heard of Harry Harry Lou until I came across this this company. Now I'm like really into this guy's story. But so that's pretty much the background of the Colchester shoes. Now let's talk about the shoe itself. The upper part of the shoe is canvas and the lower part is rubber from the sole to the cap of the shoe. Even the bottom of, of the shoe is rubber. And There is an interesting link between Converse sneakers and Colchester sneakers. And I went into detail about that in the article link below. So check that out. So that is it, you guys. That is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would appreciate it if you did so. And as always, there's an article that goes with this video. I'm going to link to them below. I'm also linked below the Colchester website so y'all can check out the different type of shoes they have. I got obviously the white um, low tops, but they have the black ones. They have the high tops as well. And I think this story needs, 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 needs to be told over and over again because it's a shame that Harry Lou isn't in the Basketball Hall of Fame. There was an honorary mention in the Basketball Hall of Fame of him, but he's not inducted in. And I think that, that that's a shame and we need to promote this story and share this story until Harry Lou gets inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame because he, he deserves to be. I mean, come on, think about it. The first African-American professional basketball player is not in the Basketball Hall of Fame. And that's sad. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Share with anyone that you feel may enjoy this and who may need to hear this message, especially if they're a basketball player. And I'll see you next week.